Boys, it almost happened. I almost lost it all in a crypto scam. Not really though. I've mentioned this briefly in the video that we posted what is a rug pool, but I wanted to dive a little deeper into it. Before we start this story, I want you to know that we don't participate in many scams. This was actually for educational purposes, only to understand how degen yield farms really work. By the way, if you don't know what a degen yield farm is, go check out our video on it. The day was March 3rd, and I had just tossed a few hundred dollars into a degen yield farm to see if it was going to pump and dump, and I was kind of curious if the 42,000% APR was actually real. Now the project looked promising and it had all the characteristics I had looked for. It had locked liquidity, the social media page was blowing up, and the white paper said it was solving a bunch of problems. But sure enough, it was just another dredged rug pool. I personally was lucky enough to get all my funds out after I realized as soon as it launched. The code made it so that when you tried to harvest your interest, the harvested tokens were sent to the developer's wallet address. Now I got out, but the people who waited an extra five minutes after the launch weren't so lucky. Welcome to Whiteboard Crypto, the number one YouTube channel for crypto education, and here we explain topics of the cryptocurrency world using analogies, stories, and examples so that you can easily understand them. In this video, we are going to explain seven signs that you can look for to avoid a rug pool. Let's dig right in without skipping a bunch of formalities. Number one, similar layouts. Now this might not be a definitive sign, but it's a good start. Have you ever noticed that all the yield farms have pretty much the same layout? This is because they are easily just reusing the original code from the Goose Swap DGen yield farm to host their site. Now why this is important is because you can tell if something is a scam by the amount of time that someone took developing it. For example, did they just spend 10 minutes outsourcing some new images or using Google images? Or did they spend a couple weeks coming up with a brand new design to host their new company that will help further crypto technologies. Some platforms take months to build before they launch, while DGen yield farms can literally be set up in minutes. Number two is liquidity. So checking liquidity is actually only something you can do if you're investing in a specific token, not an actual project like Aave or Curve or Defin. However, checking the amount of liquidity is a very powerful indicator of how likely a token is to be a scam. For example, any token with $10,000 in liquidity can easily be manipulated to double or triple or quadruple the price. But it also means the developer does doesn't have much money to invest in the token. On the other hand, a token like Uniswap actually has around $34 million in liquidity. And if you're new around here, liquidity refers to the amount of value in tokens that can actually be traded. Check out our video on how a liquidity pool works and what the automated market maker algorithms are if you want to be a liquidity expert by only watching two videos. In fact, they're actually our best videos, and probably because they're so awesome. Number three is social authority or social proof. Remember how your favorite influencer telling you that Honeybee or Cummies was the next big project and that if you bought some, that they would match it? Well, this is another big sign that a rug pull is evident if you notice large influencers promoting projects that they have no part in. Good projects will advertise themselves. They won't reach out to influencers, especially generic A-list celebrities promoting a coin or especially a token that isn't Bitcoin or Ethereum. Most A-list celebrities aren't going to look at the code of how that coin works, let alone even visit the website and read the white paper or the roadmap of the project. You don't let these people pick your job or your future stocks or your romantic partner, so don't let them pick your coins or tokens either. Speaking of white papers and roadmaps, number four is white paper. Do you know how when you go to buy a course or a product that everything on that specific sales page has been psychologically vetted to make sure it's the best to get an emotional buying response out of you? Now, I know this for a fact because I personally run another YouTube channel that sells courses, and these pages can take months to perfect, but when they do, even I get giddy reading through them. Well, this is the same as a white paper. Good projects have solid white papers where they give you stats, diagrams, and the problems they're solving. If the white paper is less than 20 pages, it's not a white paper. It's a sales page designed to get you to invest your money. Maybe that's what you're into though. Next up, number five is looking deeper into the code. So moving on, one of the best ways to avoid a rug pull is simply to look at the code of the smart contract or the token code. Now there's many ways to do this, but the best way is to go to your favorite blockchain explorer and use the contract and inspecting tool to, heck, what am I saying? This is supposed to be a simple explanation of how to spot a rug pool. You guys aren't gonna do any of that. Lucky for you, I've got the hookup. First, you wanna go check out the project on Rug Doctor. They have a website dedicated to actually reviewing the smart contract code and identifying common rug pool techniques. They then use their website, rugdoc.io, to inform the visitors of these scams. 
Secondly, you want to bookmark Tokensniffer.com. Tokensniffer is an amazing website that basically compares a ton of tokens and how similar they are. If the token is 100% or even 80% similar to another token, well, it's not unique. And that's a huge red flag for rug pulls. Why create a unique token when you can just copy and paste some code and scam some degens? Number six is to check the wallets. Here's some advice that you might actually use a blockchain explorer for. Most explorers for the Ethereum or Polygon or Binance smart chains will let you look at all the tokens out there. Pop in your token address and you can actually see a list of all the top token holders who hold that token. If more than 20% of all tokens are held by one wallet, or even if the top 10 wallets hold more than 20% combined, you could be getting rugged. The idea here is that one person could sell all of their tokens, which is a large majority of the tokens, and crash the price. This is actually probably the easiest way to spot a rug pull. Lastly, for number seven, we have a metric called total value locked. In terms of investing in a project and not a specific coin, you can actually check out a metric that is called TVL, or total value locked. TVL is the total dollar amount of coins and tokens invested into the project. For example, Aave, which is a well-known blue chip borrowing and lending platform, has over $20 billion invested in it. Compare that to a DGEN yield farm I saw on a subreddit, Crypto Moonshots, that I recently launched with around $100,000 total value locked. $100,000 is still a lot of money, but nothing in comparison to the $20 billion Aave has or the $10 billion that Curve Finance has. So lastly, we want to go over what to do if you're involved in one. Well, the first thing you should do is remove your investment if you notice that it's going to be rug pulled. And this can be tricky as sometimes there are time locks where you can't withdraw within 48 hours of your initial opening. Secondly, you should probably tell everyone else about the rug pool. Maybe you can share via the Discord or the Telegram. Thirdly, you should reach out to the rug doctor and maybe they can add the token to their list. Lastly, you should subscribe because if you watch this entire video, chances are that you actually avoided a rug pool in the first place. At least, that's our hope. Subscribing goes a long way in supporting us for creating this helpful free video, which actually took a lot of work to create and even produce, since we aren't technically monetized yet. We keep saying that in videos, but we promise once we are monetized, you'll know because there'll be a bit more excitement in our voice and probably a lot more uploads. So to summarize this video in an out of order fashion, number one, invest in projects that already have a bunch of money in them. Number two, do your due diligence by checking popular rug pull lists and checking wallet amounts. Number three, join a project's community and ask specific questions about their white paper. Number four, reach out to us and we would love to check out the project for free. You can join our Discord for free with the link below. And as always, thank you guys for watching this video. We hope that you enjoyed it. We really hope that you've learned something. And most of all, we hope to save you from a rug pull. We'll see you in the next video.